Hey guys, welcome back to Doctor Who. Thank you so much for joining me here. This episode is a continuation of the previous one that we've just watched. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the rest of this story unfolds. It has a kind of spooky, creepy undertone going through it. I mean, I'm surprised I haven't had a nightmares about the gas masks because, oh boy, that is quite unsettling. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens in this episode. So let's get watching. Oh. Go to your room. <laughs> Go to your room. Mm. I'm very, very angry with you. They're all connected with the boy. I'm really glad that worked. Oh, yes. Those would have been terrible last words. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's kind of scary and spooky, but I just mostly feel sorry for the little boy and his sister. The doctor dances. Dances with what or with who? Jamie. That's sad. It's more sad than scary to me. How was your con supposed to work? By some harmless piece of space junk. Let the nearest time agent track it back to Earth. Can he put 50% up front? Oops. A German bomb falls on it, destroys <laughs> it forever. He never gets to see what he's paid for. Never knows he's been had. The perfect self-cleaning con. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Getting a hint of disapproval. Take a look around the room. This is what your piece of harmless space junk did. Get out of here. We're going upstairs. I know what's happening here, but believe me, I had nothing to do with it. I'll tell you what's happening. You forgot to set your alarm clock. It's volcano day. What's that? They all clear. I wish. Yeah, that's not an all clear siren. <gasps> oh, we got in. I thought you were Jamie. Damn. They don't know that she took their dinner. The night your space junk landed, someone was hurt. This is where they were taken. Get it open. What's wrong with your sonic screwdriver? Nothing. Then why do we want Jack to do it? Sonic blaster, 51st century. You've been to the factories? Once. Well, they're gone now, destroyed. Mainly like I said, once. There's a banana grove there now. I like bananas. <gasps> he went to the factory once and he destroyed it? Whoa. What do you think? Something got out of here. Something powerful. It's a kid's room. Is that Jamie, the little boy? A child? I suppose this explains mummy. Do you know where you are? Are you my mummy? Are you my mummy? They were doing tests on him. Do you know? I want my mummy. Are you my mummy? Pictures mommy. of his mum and his sister. Mommy. Doctor, I've heard this voice before. Always, are you my mummy? Why doesn't he know? Yeah, mommy. he's asking everyone, are you my mummy? The police are on their way. Oh. Sweat on my brow, that food. Is there anything That's... else you'd like to help yourself to? I'd like some wire cutters, please. Some... Oh, and a torch. <laughs> The food on this table. It's an awful is... lot of food, isn't it, Mr. Lloyd? A lot more than on anyone else's table. He thinks your missus must be messing about with Mr. Averstock, the butcher. <laughs> oh, she's not, is she? You are. Wire cutters. Torch. Oh, what? Really? Oh, look. There's the sweat on your brow. <laughs> Interesting. So that's where he gets his meat from, from messing about with the butcher. Coming out of the walls. Can you feel it? There are these children. Living rough around the bomb sites. Suppose they were there when this thing landed. It was a med ship. It was harmless. Yes. Suppose one of them was affected, altered. It's afraid. Terribly afraid and powerful. It's got the power of a god and I just sent it to its room. <laughs> yeah, can't you see me? What's that noise? Oh, and I don't it know. It ran out about 30 seconds ago. <gasps> I'm here now. I sent it to its room. This is its room. Oh. <gasps> My signal, make for the door. No! Mummy! <laughs> banana! Oh, no! Go from the banana! Why not? Good source of potassium! Did you a rewind? <laughs> nice switch. Bananas are good. Come on. Ooh, he is powerful. Oh no! 
There's no way out. Did he recognize a sonic screwdriver or is he just like, it's a screwdriver? Who has a sonic screwdriver? I do. <laughs> never had a long night, never had a lot of cabinets to put up. <gasps> oh, not a good place to be. <laughs> okay, that door should hold it for a bit. The door, the wall didn't stop it. So where'd you pick this one up then? Doctor. Okay, one, we've got to get out of it. Two, we can't get out of it. Have I missed anything? Yeah. Jack just disappeared. <gasps> what? So he can just transport himself anywhere he wants. What are all of you doing here? We thought you were dead. Writing a letter to me dad. You don't even know where your dad is. You write a letter to your dad if you want to. What if one night I didn't come back for you? There's a war on. People go out. They don't always come back. It happens. Yeah, why, Coz? Are you going somewhere? The bomb site. The child. That's where he was killed. That's where it all started, and I'm going to find out how. He'll get you. He always comes after me. Yeah. As long as you're with me, you're in danger. You're the one that keeps us safe. Then answer this. Jim is sitting there right next to you. So who's typing? <gasps> It'll just say, are you my mummy? She needs to fix it. I don't know how she's going to do it. Mummy, are you my mummy? Use the emergency teleport. Sorry I couldn't take you. How are you speaking to us? Omcom. I can call anything with a speaker grill. The child can omcom too. Okay. Anything with a speaker grill. What? You, you mean the child can phone up? And I can hear you. <gasps> I can find you. I'll try to block out the signal. The least I can do. Coming to find you, mommy. Remember this one, Rose? <laughs> oh, song. Can't get in there. It's way too many people. It's so heavily guarded. That's what she needs the wire cutters for. You don't think he's coming back, do you? Why don't you trust him? Why do you? Save my life. I trust him because he's like you, except we're dating and dancing. <laughs> you just assume I don't dance. What, are you telling me you do dance? Doesn't the universe implode or something if you dance? Well, I've got the moves, but I wouldn't want to boast. Go on, show it. You got the moves? Show me your moves. I'm trying to resonate concrete. <laughs> the world doesn't end because the doctor dancing. Maybe it will, though. Barrage balloon. You were hanging from a barrage balloon, oh. hanging from a rope thousands of feet above London. Not a cut, not a bruise. Oh, no, Captain Jack fixed me up. Oh, we're calling him Captain Jack now, are we? Well, he's a captain. He's not really a captain, right? <laughs> Whether he was a captain, he's been defrocked. Yeah? Actually, I quit. Nobody takes my frock. Most people oh. notice when they've been teleported. You guys are so sweet. Sorry about the delay. This is a Tula ship. Yeah, just like that medical transporter. Only this one is dangerous. Oof. Then what fits my hands up? Nanogenes. Nanogenes, yeah. Subatomic robot. Damage fix any physical flaws. Wow. I need to see your space junk. As soon as I got the NAPCOM back online. I'll carry on with whatever it was you were doing. <laughs> we were talking about dancing. It didn't look like talking. Didn't feel like dancing. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Don't move. Would they just shoot her? She's only just a little girl. Woke up one morning when I was still working for them. Found they'd stolen two years of my memories. Two years of my life. No idea what I did. Friend over there doesn't trust me. For all I know, he's right not to. The doctor knows him, though. But he's not letting on. No. Not in here. Not with him. <gasps> you should have broken in here if you didn't want to stay. Not with him. This is a restricted area, miss. Well, he's going to get that gas mask on his face in a few seconds. A few My little brother died here. I wanted to find out what killed him. Listen, you can't leave me here. Watch her, Jenkins. Yes, mummy. Oh. So, I, I, I don't know what's the matter with him. Oh, no, no, no. Lock me no, up, no, fine, but no. not here, please. Just a little. Oh, it's not just a little. Let me go. Why would I do that? Because you got a scar on the back of your hand. What's happening to me? In a minute, you won't be you anymore. And unless you let me go, it's going to happen to me too. What's your mother's name? Matilda. You got what's your name? Mm -hmm. oh. I 
didn't want to see that. Well, there it is. Don't wait up. Hey, Tiger. How's it hanging? It's not me. How's your sport? It's me. It's me, Jack. Jack, are you my mummy? No, I don't want to see that. Thank you. No, no. Oh. The effect's becoming airborne. Accelerate. What's keeping us safe? Nothing. Didn't you say a bomb was going to land here? With the contaminants airborne now, there's hours left. So what? So nothing. Forever. For the entire human race. And can anyone else hear singing? <sighs> That's a good plan. A really good plan. Quiet. Just an ambulance. It's from another world. The sooner you see this thing is empty, the sooner you'll know I had nothing to do with it. Oh. It's not going to be empty, though, is it? What is that? Mommy! It's like a beacon that's going to draw all of these people to it. Captain, yeah. secure those gates. Nancy, how did you get in here? Cut the wire. Show rope. <laughs> we attach his barbed wire. Go! <gasps> yep, they'll all be there. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Who are any of you? Never believe me if I told you. We're time travelers from the future. You got a time travel machine? Believe anything, me? What future? Yeah, it doesn't seem like one when you look up in that sky. Nancy, this isn't the end. Look at it. I'm Listen. from here in like 50 years' time. From your future. <laughs> the Germans don't come here, they don't win. Don't tell anyone I told you so. <laughs> you win. Oh, they got Empty. in. What do you expect in a dual medical transport? I don't think it's empty. I don't know. Yes, you do. Nanogenes. There was enough nanogenes in there to rebuild a species. When the ship crashes, the nanogenes escape, ready to fix all the cuts and bruises in the whole world. But what they find first is a dead child. And they brought yeah. him back to life. These nanogenes, they're not like the ones on your ship. This lot have never seen a human being before. All they've got to go on is one little body, and there's not a lot left. Can't tell what's gas mask and what's skull, but they do their best. See, now they think they know what people should look like, and it's yeah. time to fix all the rest. The entire human race is going to be torn down and rebuilt in the form of one terrified child looking for its mother, and nothing in the world can stop it. It makes sense now what the nanogenes are doing. That's what they think that humans are meant to be and meant to look like. They're just trying to fix up everyone. It's bringing the gas mask people here, isn't it? It's calling up the troops. Standard protocol. And anagenes don't just fix you up, they get you ready for the front line, equip you, program you. That's why the child's so strong. All that weapons tech in the hands of an hysterical four-year-old looking for his mummy. Why don't they attack? Uh, good little soldiers, waiting for their commander. <gasps> Jamie, so how long until the bomb falls? Any second. He's just a little boy. I know, there isn't a little boy born who wouldn't tear the world apart to save his mummy. And this little boy can. It's my fault. It is, it's all my fault. How can it be your fault? Nancy, what age are you? Older than you look, yes? What's he implying? You can teleport us out. Not you guys. The NAVCOM's back online. It's gonna take too long to override the protocols. So it's volcano day. Do what you've got to do. How old were you five years ago? 15? 16? That's her son. Old enough to give birth anyway. <gasps> He's not your brother, is he? Oh. Teenage single mother in 1941. You even lied to him. Wow, no wonder why he's searching for his mom. Are you my mommy? He's gonna keep asking, Nancy. Just tell him. The future of the human race is in your hands. Trust me and tell him. Are you my mommy? Are you my mommy? Yes. Yes, I am your mommy. Are you my mommy? He doesn't understand. I am your mommy. That's sad. I'm so, so sorry. Doctor is changing her wish. <gasps> Come on, please. Come fix, on, you clever little nanogenes. Figure it out. She's the mother. Oh, come on. Give me this one. Take the mask off. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. The nanogenes recognize <laughs> the superior information. Mother knows best. Doctor, that bomb. <sighs> so great. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Jack to the rescue! Doctor! Good lad! The bomb's already commenced detonation! I put in stasis, but it won't last long! Can you get rid of it? Safely as you can! Rose! Goodbye! By the way, love the t shirt! <laughs> oh, I love that! He saved the day! <laughs> what are you doing? Software patch. 
You want moves, Rose? I'll give you moves. <laughs> How's that for moves? Everybody lives, Rose. Just this once! Everybody lives! Back on your feet, Constant Doctor. These are your patients. All better now. Listen, whatever was wrong with them in the past, you're probably gonna find that they're cured. Just tell them what a great doctor you were. <laughs> Don't make a big thing. Setting this to self-destruct soon as everybody's clear. All, all things considered. Fantastic! You're beaming away like your father Christmas. Who says I'm not red bicycle when you were 12? <laughs> what? And everybody lives, Rose. Everybody lives. I'm on fire! What about Jack? Why did he say goodbye? Well, he's not dead. He's just gone. For now. How long can we keep the bomb in stasis? Stasis decaying at 90% cycle. Detonation Ooh. in three minutes. Ooh. Out of 100, exactly how dead am I? Termination of Captain Jack Harkness in under two minutes. 100% probability. Whoa. <sighs> okay. Lovely. I think we better initiate emergency protocol 417. What does that do? Oh, it's a drink. <laughs> Well, not everyone lives. Ooh, thanks for everything, computer. It's been great. Oh, I'm sad. I thought we would see more of him. Well, hurry up then. <gasps> what? <laughs> okay, close the door, will you? Your ship's about to blow up. There's going to be a draft. Welcome to the TARDIS. Much bigger on the inside. You may cut in. <laughs> I've just remembered. What? I can dance. I can dance. I thought Jack might like this dance. I'm sure he would, Rose. I'm absolutely certain. <laughs> but who with? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. That was so awesome. I love that ending. That was so, so, so great. <laughs> he's just, his little jibes were just so, so cool. He is so charming. The Doctor, I'm, I'm saying, not Captain Jack. Though Captain Jack is not without his charm. It's just that I haven't managed to fall for his charm yet. I am still very much a Doctor girl. And I think Rose is too. I thought that was just so so gorgeous of an ending truly left me feeling so happy and with just such a big smile on my face just a positive positive outcome where everyone indeed did live I thought for a second that we would lose Jack in that and when he said everyone lives except one but no everyone survived which is uh, amazing I think that's a very rare occurrence but I'm I'm pleased to have seen it so we've got the crow going off outside you guys have said that you like the crow so he he's very very verbal with Doctor Who I think he likes Doctor Who my cats are going nuts <laughs> because of the crow as you can see in the background <laughs> they're, they're loving it they're loving him um the, the 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 girl I never would have picked that Jamie was her son not her brother so that that was so sad that's so sad that she was a teenage single mother in the 1940s couldn't imagine how difficult that would have been especially with that war going on as well but there does seem to be a beautiful beautiful happy ending there for them both and now Jamie is alive he's with his mother I, I just, I, I really love this one. I love that there was such a happy ending, not just with Jamie and his mom and everyone else that was affected by those nanogens, I think they're, they're called, from the transport ship, but a happy ending too with the Doctor and, and, and Rose and Jack. It, um, I remember last time we had a companion in the TARDIS, it didn't go well. So I'm curious to see just what happens with the, the Captain Jack being there. I don't see him being there for very long. He will get a replacement ship and be on his way. But I think it's going to be interesting if he does stay on for a little bit because there's going to be quite a bit of friction there 
between the three of them, which I'm looking forward to very much. All right, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Bye.